This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 20th through the 27th. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is still fluid, okay? This is what I'm picking up on. I'd like you to take what resonates and leave the rest. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, a uh, happy uh, winter solstice as well. So what do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for an overall energy? December 20th through the 27th. Triumph, victory, success, moving forward, um, taking a journey, mastering your emotions, finding discipline, hard work, paying off, taking the high road. You are taking control. You are taking control. You're taking control of your future. This is a card of transformation. Okay, it really is. We have somebody here that has a mindset of success. There's nobody that is going to stop your success by the looks of things. This is mental strength, determination. So I see you being highly determined this, this week. Determined to succeed. Taking the reins, taking charge, you know, moving forward in faith because seven is a number of faith as well. No fear, you know, yeah, it feels like your fear is dissipating. So, what do we have for Aries? A couple of cards, please. Oh. There they are. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. This is probably what makes you take the reins. You may, you may, something may become unsuccessful and you decide that you've got to do something about it. This is somebody who takes charge of a situation, decides to take the wheel, finds the self-discipline and the determination to, you know, go after success. So there is some sort of unsuccessful outcome to a problem that probably springs you into action by the looks of things. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So this card is exactly what it says. You haven't found it yet. It's waiting for you to find it. The key word here is waiting. You have to find it. You may, you may have to dig deep. You're going to have to take the lead Really get behind the wheel. Take charge of your life. Nobody else is steering but you. October. You may have come up with this idea in October. Um, October is a very uh, prominent energy. Whether um, something has happened in the month of October during any given year and you've let it... Uh, go to the wayside or the next October could be prominent. That, that could be when you get your, your optimal success is in October or something has happened in October. Maybe that's where this unsuccessful outcome has happened. Either way, October is very prominent here. So think back to previous Octobers or this could be a future October. Um, What do we have for Aries for December 21st through the 27th? What do we have for Aries? Five of Wands reversed. Woo! The Lovers reversed. So this is this is the end of a contract. Okay, there's, there's, there's giving up. This is giving up. It's done, done playing the game. Okay, done with the tug of war, done fighting, giving up um, on a contract that probably is not compatible. And this could be any type of contract. There's, and it could be a work contract. I don't know. But this is a contract that is coming to an end. Okay, this is definitely a contract that is coming to an end. 
Um, it's been a constant battle. It's been a constant fight. Yeah, you're headed towards victory. A decision is being made. This is seen clearly coming out of denial. You know, this is this is really waking up. You know, opening up. Letting go of fear as well. Now, this is definitely taking charge. This is definitely the end of a battle. Here, This is the battle. It's the five of wands, then, and it's reversed, and this is the end of the battle. This is headed towards victory, which you are. You're headed towards victory, and it's because you're taking a leadership role. You are. This is a leadership role. You you may even be put in a leadership role, okay? Um, this, is, this is being recognized. This is a win. It is a win. It's a win-win situation. But it is separating from a contract, just so you know. There's been some sort of denial here or blockage. You know, somebody wasn't seeing something clearly. And they were fighting like a separation. Somebody was fighting a separation. But now it's like they're ready to be done. This is ready. I don't, I'm done. I'm not going to play this tug of war. I'm not going to play these games anymore. I, I don't have any desire to fight. So somebody, is. there's no desire to fight. Okay. This is definitely the end. It's the end of a, of a battle. That's the end. I mean, it's the end of a contract. It's walking away. It's, it's fun, with dignity. Okay, it is with dignity. So you, you, you will be proud. You will be, you have a lot to be proud of. Put it that way. Um, I feel like there's been some sort of fight. It's been, a, it, obviously, with that five of wands, it's been a constant struggle. And in, in denial, you know, choosing to not see the truth. That's what this one is. There's been some sort of indecision in postponing, you know, procrastination. And I feel like you've been overly cautious, right? There's been fear. But this is letting go of fear and this is fearless. So this, I really feel as though you are letting go of fear. Maybe you're doing it out of self-love. You know, you may be realizing that who, whatever contract this is that you're in doesn't complete you. It's not meant to be. This is realizing it's not meant to be or it's time to go, you know. It's really finding your courage because this is somebody who is very courageous, very confident, very experienced, has already fought a hard battle and has learned from it. So I feel like you have learned something from a partnership that probably... You know, it was a constant struggle by the looks of things. There was a lot of games being played. A lot. Oh, this is a no. It's no... No compatibility. No compatibility. Now, the magician reverse is a trickster. It's somebody that is a master manipulator um, that is very skilled at manipulation. So there's some sort of manipulation here. I think that you are involved in a very a tricky situation where you somebody had some some schemes or something. There's lies, there's deception, there's manipulation from a partner. Okay, there is. You could be dealing with a Gemini. We have Gemini here, Gemini here. Doesn't have to be a Gemini. Could be a Cancer. But there's some sort of manipulation here. Or lies. There's also a uh, loss of power, a loss of resources. Somebody may have lost their resources, you know. Hmm. There could be an abuse of power even. Abuse, violence, okay. Hmm. 
there is self-love here. Somebody is acting in self-love. You may be getting some advice from somebody that is very caring, very kind, very loving. Or you could be dealing with somebody that used their, used emotional blackmail. There, there could be emotional blackmail here. This is emotional, just blackmail, just being honest. You know, somebody may have used emotional blackmail against you, which caused you not to see something clearly. Which is interesting. But I feel like now your gut is telling you something. I feel like your heart is guiding you in a new direction. You may have another option that is, is obviously with the lover's card and the two of swords, there's another option here. You do have another option. But you haven't been able to see it. You haven't been able to see it. You haven't been able to see it because you were concentrated on something that was... You were battling with some sort of contract that was probably meant to teach you strength and, and courage and something. And self-love. You needed to find your discipline. You needed to find that inner strength. You did. So whoever this person was that came in to teach you something, they manipulated to you, they lied to you, they abused you. There's abuse here with that magician reversed. And one of the terms of, or kinds of abuse is emotional blackmail. There could even be physical abuse with the magician reversed. You know, even like belittling with the two of swords. Constant power struggle. You've been and you've been going back and forth with this contract, but now your gut, your intuition, is telling you that it's time. That it is time for you to take charge. For some of you, I'm going to change the story for a second. You could have somebody coming in to your life. Say you're single. So you're single and you're not in a contract and you're not looking for anybody. You know, you're blocked. You've blocked love. Say you're single and you've blocked love, you know. <laughs> this is not for everybody, obviously. But if you're single and you've blocked love and you're, you're not interested in anybody, there could be somebody coming in. Okay? This person could be flying into your life. Okay? They may see your beauty. They may see your love. They may see your... your um, sweetness you know what I mean um anyhow so for some of you there could be somebody could be in October okay so just keep in mind that the timing is fluid right now is a time of you finding the discipline and the determination and the willpower to move forward past a situation that is not meant to be there is something that is going to bring you victory and success that is coming in, whether you're single or not. Okay? You are headed towards victory. You are headed towards success. This is a time of transformation for you. This is a win-win situation where you are not going to have to fight anymore. But the only way that you are not going to have to fight anymore is if you take the reins. If you get in the driver's seat and you go wherever the hell it is that you need to go. It's not going to be easy. It takes a lot of hard work. Okay, it's not going to be easy. You're going to have to be de determined. Really, 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 really determined. And you're going to have to replace that fear with faith. So this is a time of replacing fear with faith. And taking the lead. And following your heart. And following your gut. Somebody has been manipulated by a false contract. And they played that game for a long time. And it's time to own up to the truth and accept it for what it is. If you want success, if you want success, you're going to have to change your destination.
You're going to have to get in the driver's seat. You're going to have to make a move. This could be literally moving. It could be. So I feel like you guys have been flogging a dead horse. And it's time to get a new horse. So I feel like during this week, your heart is going to be guiding you um, out of a contract that is not meant to be. Um, there's been serious denial here, um, self-deception, but your gut is really poking you. And you're going to, I feel like you have support and you may not know that you have support. But behind the scenes, you have support. You do. Now this is taking a journey. So some of you are going to be taking a journey. You're all done. You're all done fighting this battle. something to do with a home could be a change in your home there could be an upcoming celebration okay well it is Christmas time and I know that some people you know aren't celebrating but this is it should focus any minute this is a celebration okay it's an upcoming celebration a party a get-together it's having fun with friends and family and um, so the, yeah, there could be an upcoming get together. If you are single again, you could meet somebody at a get together. I know that there's a lot of restrictions right now, but I'm just telling you what these cards say. Um, there could also be a reunion. There could be an upcoming reunion. And, it, and for some of you, you know, it could be with somebody that you have known before. It could be somebody from your past. Um, this is happiness. Celebrating. Having fun. So I do feel like this is a happy time. It may, it may be a happy time with, with, with family or a happy time with new people even. I do feel like it's going to be an emotional week. Okay, with that Queen of Cups there. Very emotional. I think it's going to be an emotional week. I think it's an emotional week because of this separation. But it leads to happiness in the future. Because this is a future card. So in the future, there's going to be a, a, a celebration. In the future, there, this is a win. Okay, for some of you, this is like a hero. Okay, not for everybody, but it is. This is a hero. This is a, this is a fighter. This is somebody. This is a protector. So maybe in October, it could be in October. But this is could also be you. You know, making a decision to depart from a false partnership and just having fun, celebrating. You know, building a new foundation because fours are foundations. There could be a change. There could be moving to a new home. For some of you. Or going home. Because I think of the Four of Wands as a home card. Going home. Somebody may be going home. Or changing homes or something like that. Anyway, I feel like this is a week of letting go of a partnership. However it resonates with you. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. That is not compatible. And there could be a reunion. Maybe it's with a soulmate. I don't know. That's not going to be for everybody. There's definitely been, and maybe the reunion with the soulmate is in the future. This is a, definitely a future card. This is also living a happy life. After this separation, that lover's card reverse separation. 
That's all there is to it. A separation that leads to victory because this is victory after sorrow and happiness and fun times and celebrating. That's what's to come. After you follow your gut and separate from this battle that you've been fighting. So this week is a week of <sighs> acknowledging with that two of swords after reversed, after being indecisive, after procrastinating. You may have another lover here. You, I think you do. I think you do. But you may not have been able to see it or you weren't, weren't interested. You weren't interested because you were so focused on this manipulator. It is time. It is time. I do see you taking the lead. I see you taking the driver's driver's seat and and going going in a new direction this week. Because wherever you but whatever you've been fighting with or going up against or battling or struggling to let go of is not working out and it's not going to it's not bringing you stability it's not paying you what you thought it was going to pay you it's not giving you the reward it's just not working out whoever you're dealing with isn't really contributing or they don't have the money like i said for resources it could this could be money maybe there's no money you know, there's no money in it. And you need to come up with another plan. I do see you coming up with another plan. And moving. Some of you are actually moving. Um, not everybody. But anyway, something's not working out. Because somebody's just not putting in enough effort. Not working hard enough to even... Somebody hasn't been trying. They've been in denial. Wake up. This is a this is a week of separating from a uh, abusive, uh, neglectful, false contract. There's good news arriving. This is and you may not see it as good news when it arrives, but this is good news. Okay, somebody may be purchasing a new home, buying a new home, moving into a new home. I'm not sure. Or somebody could just be arriving that you could connect with. You may, you could, some, you know, if you're single. This is an arrival of some sort. This could be somebody that, you know, is very loving, very gentle, very sweet, very kind, very noble. There is victory after sorrow. Okay? So this is a week of separating and headed towards separating and headed towards happiness. Good luck.